Well, uh, it's similar to state criminal work, except that it's done on a federal level. Uh, the crime, many of the crimes involved are the same or similar to state crimes, uh, but many times the federal work involves um, a larger group or organization, which is why people think of federal crime as um, organized crime, and that is true. Usually federal investigations are very long, very detailed, and they involve a lot of defendants. So your typical state case involves one or two defendants. Your typical federal case can involve 10 to 20 co-defendants all involved in an organized crime activity. Typical federal crimes involve uh, illegal interstate transport, mail fraud, organized crime uh, involving any type of gang activity, kidnapping, certain homicides, bank robberies, and then there are also crimes that you wouldn't think of as federal crimes that in fact uh, do fall under federal jurisdiction. If you commit a crime in New York State and you possess or use or threaten to use a handgun, that automatically becomes a federal crime because handguns, no handguns, are manufactured within this New York State. Therefore, uh, any crime involving a, a, a gun, a handgun, automatically is a federal crime because it had to have gotten into New York State illegally. Uh, also, any narcotics crime, although most people think of those as local crimes, they're not. Any narcotics crime can be a federal crime and is under federal jurisdiction. People okay. commonly think that um, when you're arrested, uh, you, you, you know the police are, uh, make an arrest, locally, goes to the local precinct, you call an attorney, you contact the precinct, you tell them don't speak to my client, that's the end of the story, and now you, you're not concerned, your, your son, your daughter, your husband, your wife is protected. Not so in federal. First of all, you can be arrested, picked up off the street by a federal agent, they don't have to notify anyone. And secondly, even if they notify family or family sees the arrest happening, an attorney calling and saying, I represent so-and-so, don't speak with him, has absolutely no weight in federal court. So it's a good lesson for anyone listening. If they find themselves in the unfortunate position of being picked up by federal agents, they have to say, I don't want to speak with you. If they don't say that, federal agents can ignore phone calls from attorneys and continue to speak with an individual. So it's a very good rule of thumb if you're picked up by federal agents, politely decline to speak with them and wait for your opportunity in court to speak with your attorney.